What's up, YouTube? Eugene here. Hope you guys are all well. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope your hearts are full. Hope your minds are in good places. My heart is full. I'm out for a nice evening stroll. The air is fresh. It's a bit crisp. It's a bit cool. It's lovely though. I wouldn't change it for anything. It's absolutely perfect. The moment is right. It's quite possibly one of the greatest moments of my life. Because it's right here and now. But forget the nonsense. Let's talk about the hot topic. Tobacco, honey. Let's talk about Thierry Basser's tobacco honey. I don't want to talk about Vanille Havan because it's worth talking about, but you know. So I don't want to sound like I'm totally going in on tobacco honey, you know, because it's a great fragrance in a way. But in a way, it's also sort of a nightmare, you know. It's like this double edged sword, right? It's. I'm sure it's going to be a huge, 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 huge hit. It's only a matter of time. Only a matter of time. You know, once people um, discover it, and if they can get over that price tag, $470, 100 ml, God, that's huge. You know, the times are changing so fast. <sighs> at 270 this would have been a steal. You know, I would have been all over this at 270 but... 470 changes a lot of things for for this kind of corporate perfume, you know? That's really polished. But Wasser's really kind of like, he's really come into his own with this polishing, like really, really, really polished, eh? And just when you think like you can't polish it anymore, he's just like, just kind of, he's got his microfiber fiber cloth, and he's just like polishing. And you're like, what the fuck? It's the most polished thing I've ever smelled in my life. You know, and that's a good thing. It's so super polished, like anything you would expect from a luxury brand like Louis Vuitton, you know. I mean, under that umbrella of the richest men in the world. No doubt, like. There's no doubt that's what you would expect, right? And then you have this, you have this uh, Vanille Havan from this guy. You know, Antoine Lee's cut from a different cloth. You know, he's not protected by the world's richest conglomerate. This guy, you know, he was fired from his corporate job and now he's independent, you know? And he's a risk taker, because he knows, you know, he's a risk, he's taking risks, because he's creating art, and he knows, you know. He knows that his perfumes are gonna be like highly scrutinized, they're gonna be reviewed, and then depending on how they are, you know, his, his next work comes from that. Where Wasser is just like guaranteed work, you know. All he has to do is put something half-assed out. And he's got this big bouncy corporate check from Mr. Bernard Arnault. You know, which is all nice and fancy, but... It's like, what is, what is your soul worth, you know? Check this out. What is your soul worth, you know? It's like an art bar. Espera el momento perfecto para decírmelo, ¿no? Yo aquí en mi estupidez y ella, ay, al fin, esta pendeja, a la mejor. Si te 
tobacco honey. Vani Vani Havan. It all depends on what you want as a consumer though. You know, ultimately the decisions lay, lays with you. Do you want something really super, super refined and polished? Of course, Guerlain's always gonna be high quality, but if you want quality, right? If you want the highest quality from all of the tobacco, honey, vanillas that I've ever smelled, you know, you can't beat um, a vanilla van, you can't beat it. That's what they're known for is their quality. You know, it's so rich, thick, colorful, explosive, vivid. It's, it comes alive. You know, when you first spray it, you can you can you can sense the passion in Antoine. You can sense that that darkness, that underlying dark. He uses a lot of dark notes that I, you know I connect with on that on an emotional level, like. He pulls those emotions out of me that I don't get that effect with corporate perfume, you know, very clean and polished and, and sterile. But that's also, you know, it comes out in their personalities as well, you know, watching Antoine speak in an interview and, and opposed to Thierry personalities are very different. Wasser is very, you know, he, he commands attention. He, he's from a big brand. People notice like when he's in the room speaking, like everybody notice, everybody know, you can feel his presence. He's got a big energy and he commands attention. And um, yeah, he's character. He's got a he's got a persona, you know. It's very colorful, and when he is asked a question, he answers in a way that's that kind of pleases as many people as he possibly can, you know. <laughs> it's very it's very polished. It's very corporate, you know. It's like playing by the rules, playing safe, not taking any risks. And then you you know you you listen to Antoine and you can hear you can sense like the freedom in his voice to say whatever the fuck he wants and he doesn't have to pay a price you know nothing will be held against him and that's very important that's a very important thing in life because if you don't have that connection to your soul when you're working you're no longer working for yourself. And if you're not making money for yourself doing something you love versus making money like Vasa is making money, it's very different. It's very different. You know, when you're creating art in that sense, two very different art styles, you know, and I'm obviously looking at this from my perspective, from somebody that's been doing this for over a decade with over 500 bottles that has studied your lawn, you know, for 10 years. And then you see a brand like Les Indemidable come and really it's like blow the smoke off of what a billion dollar, uh, company can do you know Blow, blows the smoke off of it there's no comparison to the two perfumes absolutely no comparison in quality and richness and color and texture and smell and in experience and storytelling it's like Vanilla Van is exotic next to Tobacco, honey. It's exotic. And that's what you're going to get from the smaller brands. You're going to get that, that soul. 
you know, if you want soulful perfumes, if you're that person that gets emotionally invested like I do, that's where you're gonna find these, these dreamy perfumes, you know? So go check out Les Demadabla. Go support small brands, all small brands. In fact, drop your favorite small brand in the comment if you have any favorite small brands that you want to support or you want to see us support or if you're a small brand yourself. Drop it in the comments. Don't be shy. They're watching. Put your name out there. But, you know, shout-outs. Shout-outs to... Les and Demma Dabla for doing something so great. You know, it's a brilliant, it's a really a brilliant perfume. Shout out to Antoine Lee for the whole team. Like there was probably only three or four people behind this that knew about this. Where Tobacco Honey's built, you know, in a billion dollar boardroom, corporate executives, accountants, who knows, robots politicians, governors, backers, financers, drug dealers, cartel. It's a deep ring. It's a deep ring. Go sm support small, support local. Support dream chasers. But yeah, both great, but depends on what you want, where you're at, where is your heart, where is your mind, where is your spirit. It's <laughs> so polished, like super, super polished. It's got a big... I feel like there's a big cherry in tobacco honey. It's lovely. A big cherry. It's kind of in that tonka, that goofy tonka, the really syrupy sweet. It's not even like, it's just goofy. <laughs> it's so saturated, so sweet. You know, Tonka is okay as a, like a, a base note because it's got a lot of character itself. But when you when you put too much, it's just overwhelming. You know, a lovely honey, lovely tobacco. You know, really lovely, good stuff. Super. You know, Wasser's a master blender brilliant blender super like you want something polished really cleaned up give it to us or i don't know where the hell he learned his techniques but master blender you know and that's too bad that louis vuitton mohensi you know they're stealing artists from us from us you know perfume lovers you know they're stealing the greatest artists in the world to capture soulless perfumes you know to copyright to plage other things and just take the best elements out of all of those and put them together in this really high quality um, high quality polish 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 everything's polished for fuck's sake it's like OCD polish But it's the raisin. There's something raisiny in Vanilla Van. Raisiny prune plum. I don't know what it is, but it's it's so gorgeous. You know that animalic leather, the smoke. 
just vibrates at a higher level, you know? It has a punch. And you, 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 you press the trigger and it, it, a punch comes out. You get hit with a punch. This punch of smoke and tobacco and vanilla, tonka bean. Very ambery and churchy. Okay. The dry down is very churchy on me. I love it. I love the dry down. Like it opens with a punch and it just dries down to continually get better and better and better. You know, I think it's best. It's the best in show in that. Vanilla Man is the best in show. Fumery Turk is good. I like Fumery Turk. I can't stand Toba Kalor. Zaharov's is. Zaharov's tobacco is really good for what it is in that sector. I'm a big fan of that one. Zaharov's built a pretty big following. Rightfully so. It's got some good stuff, but that one's my favorite. What else? You know, Tom Ford's always going to get the credit for tobacco vanilla. You know, always. That, that was... I think that was the first before Pure Havan, be, before Noxos. I think it was Tom Ford's um, tobacco vanilla, which the pundits, they couldn't stand. You know, Katie Puckrick wasn't a fan out of it. She called it very Christmassy. Uh, Luca Turn wasn't a big fan out of it. I think he gave it a three stars. I can't remember what he coined it, but I'm sure he had a phrase, right? I thought it was great, you know, for what it is. I thought it was great, artistic, even if it was overly sweet, you know? But yeah, check out small brands for creativity for passion, for just putting themselves out there. It's not easy doing what they do, you know, when they're competing against these mighty, powerful money machines, global money machines. But I think there's going to be a rise in niche perfumery. Perfumery is not dying, not anytime soon, not the way I see I definitely see a rise, especially with smaller brands doing more creative things. That's the next niche. Anyway, it's good talking to you guys. Drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you think of Vanilla Van, or Tobacco Honey, or any of your favorite in that genre. Or anything else that I've said that caught your attention, let us know. Let us know what you'd like to see discussed for the next video. And from from now until then, be well. I wish you guys well. I wish you guys enjoy your perfumes. I hope you guys enjoy anything that's going on in your life. If anything special is going on, let us know. Talk to you later.